Now, your Facebook page, uh, Libby Down Under, is uh, very active. Uh, you use a combination mm -hmm. of uh, personal uh, videos, uh, sharing news, uh, which co covers your opinion on it, and also uh, plenty of uh, memes, which, which of course are very effective in the uh, internet age. Uh, mm -hmm. Why did you decide to become active on social media and what's your goal? So there would be, I guess this is for many people as well, there'd be many reasons if we could stick to the main ones. I guess there's a narrative out there that's written by the cultural Marxists that um, because I'm a non anglo Celtic transgender woman, um, there's a narrative written for me uh, from uh, the cultural Marxists that um, politically I'm meant to lean left, I'm meant to support safe schools, I'm meant to um, infringe on or support infringing on the uh, right to free speech of others that are allegedly homophobic, transphobic, racist, etc., etc., um, bisphobic, um, uh, badism. Um, and it got to the point where, um, uh, you know, I, we, live in a, we live in a Western society where the stigma against someone who is non-anglo Celtic, someone who's a woman, someone who's transgender, um, a lot of that stigma's gone for the most part but now it's kind of replaced with, um, for example, on transgenderism, the normalisation of trans, uh, transgenderism, um, even though, it, uh, in my view, it's by and large a medical condition that shouldn't be normalised. And I just got fed up with the lefties, the culture Marxists, the political correctness brigade trying to speak on my behalf when, in fact, they don't speak on my behalf. It sounds like a lot of us are quite similar why we decided to enter this field of alternative media. We just got, you know, uh, so sick of just getting, you know, angry ourselves that, you know, we needed to, you know, share our message and help, you know, spread it to, to other people that, you know, A, you know, they're not alone with, you know, their concerns about, um, you know, these cultural issues and clamp down on our, our freedoms, but also to, uh, you know, really, you know, fight, you know, identity politics and say, you know, People, you know, aren't aren't all the same. You know, everyone's uh, uh, an individual, which uh, I, I think it's been a really important um, uh, c counter to uh, what's what's been going on in the mainstream media. And as for myself, uh, on that note, I, I guess in a way, I'd like to show uh, the wider world out there that um, not every non-Anglo Celtic trans women out there, um, not every trans woman out there uh, is open, you know, is in full agreement, in, in full um, agreement with the cultural Marxist narrative. I strongly disagree with that narrative. It's not a reflection of me, it's not a reflection of my experience, it's not a reflection of my political views. And as you rightly pointed out, uh, at the end of the day, you know, it's quite harmful to group people as, oh, you know, you're the gays and therefore, you know, you need to behave in a particular way, you need to have particular views, or you're transgender and um, therefore you're a victim and follow this narrative. I guess uh, in a way I want to show that, no, that's not true. You don't ha I don't need to follow um, the culture of a Marxist narrative and neither does everyone else. We're all individuals with our own individual views and... I guess I want to put out there what my politics are, what my political views are, um, and not be afraid to do that. Uh, what have you found with the, the content that you've posted? Uh, what issues do you feel resonate with uh, the people that follow your page? Um, of late, I find that um, recently I did two... Um, video blogs on touching on the topics of uh, gender uh, gender politics, um, gender and sex in classrooms, safe schools, and for from what I gather from the comments, um, their politics, you know, just in general interaction with um, a lot of these folks on uh, my Facebook page of late, 
um, a lot of them are on the they supporting the supporters for no side of the um, same-sex marriage survey. They um, they oppose the Trojan horse. Uh, that's um, the luggage of the baggage that comes with the Yes campaign, and that also includes safe schools. They may not necessarily, you know, agree with um, gay rights or trans rights or um, whatever you you know whatever um, rights that may be, and they may not necessarily agree with my circumstance, personal circumstances, but. Um, I think what resonates for a lot of these, uh, uh, you know, from the newer audience of late on my Facebook page is we can agree to disagree, we can engage in respectful debate, and that's very important. And we haven't really seen respectful debate from the Yes campaign and those on the Yes side supporting uh, safe schools and um, the gender politics of the um, cultural Marxist uh, angle of uh, sex and gender that's been put out there. Um, I, I think if people don't agree with any of that stuff, by all means disagree with it, and I don't think there should be any consequences of it. So uh, I feel that's the audience, the, the new audience that's been coming on my page of late, and I think that resonates with them, whether they agree with my personal circumstances or not. Uh, do you come from a political background? Have you been politically active in the past or is this a new uh, foray for you? Not really a new foray. I've been politically active since I was 15. I, when I was a 15 year old, I joined the Labour Party and I got involved in Young Labour. Um, that lasted for a few years um, into the early days of uh, uni. Um, being active in the Labour Party didn't really work out. I mean, you know what the Labour machine is like. Um, I, I was hoping to, I, I, I guess I was one of these la aspiring Labour hacks trying to um, build something um, from joining the Labour Party and that didn't work out. And that doesn't work out for a lot of young Labour hacks, um, at least back in my time. It may have gone worse um, since then. Um, but I, you know, during my uni days and thereafter for a little bit, I was involved, you know, I was in and out of the Labour Party. I was a member of the Greens for a little bit. Thankfully, I wasn't part of the Greens for very long. Um, and then I, for a period, um, 2012 till, I suppose, 2015, early 2016, I wasn't too politically involved, politically active. Um, you know, I, I was disillusioned and I, I guess I could only hold the fire within me, the passion within me for so long. I was close to joining the Liberal Party um, sometime after uh, Malcolm Turnbull became Prime Minister. I had a bad feeling about that, so I joined the Liberal Democrats um, instead. Um, I joined them around the 2016 election um, and yeah, that's been, uh, I'm currently, I joined the, the Australian Conservatives um, about a month or two ago. Um, I identify as a conservative libertarian at present. This has been an Unshackled Fast. Please like, comment and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.